All right, so today we're going to be doing the uh, Compass Handheld CNC Router Calibration. So, um, yeah, what you'll need for this is obviously your trusty handheld CNC router, a metric ruler that goes up to at least 30 centimeters, a guide rail, um, about a quarter inch works pretty well. I'm using just this uh, MDF stock piece that I cut out. Um, if you're cutting it out yourself, just make sure this edge is straight because that's what the um, router is going to be riding on and uh, using for its straight movement assumption. Clamps, just to keep this guide rail down, um, a marker or a pen, and this is just for marking the reference point on the router. You can also use tape, um, just something that is you'll clearly be able to see in a line for a few different cycles. A flat, clean surface. I'm using this poster board stuff that I use for testing drawing on. It's pretty nice, works well. Also, um, a flat table works perfectly fine or just some flat surface. Just make sure it's not shiny. You wanna be able to get good, consistent readings from the sensors for the calibration. It's also helpful to have a little USB cable um, that you can connect to your computer. Um, it's not necessary, but it's helpful to be able to see what your sensors are outputting during the calibration just to make sure everything's going well. So we're going to be calculating three parameters in this calibration. The first parameter is going to be the X scalar, which turns the raw sensor value into a meaningful measurement. The second value is going to be the Y scalar. The third value is going to be an angular rotation that represents any misalignment in the sensor. All three values will be calculated by five consecutive runs in each axis of the machine. To set up, I'm just going to clamp this uh, guide rail to the edge of my table. This will be used to constrain our movement to either the X or the Y axis. And then I will tape this ruler onto the surface. <clears throat> And this is what I'm going to be using as my position reference. You want to tape the ruler about in the center of this guide rail. And then you want to mark your little reference point about in the center of this little UI panel. So I just use this marker and I'll just mark a little tick right there. can easily be wiped off after. Um, this will just act as a reference as I'm moving it back and forth. I can set at zero and then I'll go all the way to 30 for a couple calibration runs and I know exactly where I'm at. Then I'm gonna plug in my USB cable so that I can check what's going on through the serial monitor. So first thing we're going to do is turn on the device. And once it's on, we're going to click this little plug icon in VS Code to enter the serial monitor. And now when we click Zero Machine X, you should see it pop up in the serial monitor as well. <laughs> then we'll Zero Machine Z. This doesn't matter since we're not actually using a tool for the calibration. Also, thickness doesn't matter. And we're gonna go into calibrate. So first thing on the screen, we'll say align x-axis. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just making sure that the router is flush with this guide rail. And then we're gonna line up that reference mark with zero. Click when ready. And then you'll see in the serial monitor you're getting some um, results. And these are coming from the sensors, and these will essentially tell you how much the sensors are moving when you move it to the right. And it gives the X value, the Y raw value, and then B is, is the angle. So you're just gonna move it to the right until the reference marker is at 300 millimeters. Make sure to keep it attached to the guide rail at all times. I want this to be completely smooth motion. If you overshoot a little bit, that's fine. You can just move it back. Just try to get it as close to 300 as possible. 
when you're ready click the button and you can check on the serial monitor to see those results you got all of your sensor values should be pretty similar we're just calibrating x right now that's what is most important and you can see they're all within a pretty good range and they should be around 30,000 um, so yeah make sure your values are close to that then bring your router back to zero and we're doing five runs for each axis so five runs for x five runs for y click the button again when you're at zero then move to the right and you can just kind of keep your eye on those values that you're getting make sure all of them are going up consistently and none of them are like skipping and make sure they're all giving smooth results. If one of your sensors is not giving smooth results and being, you know, a little buggy, then that's a problem. We have to troubleshoot that. So keep on going. Okay, now that I've done five runs for X, it's telling me to go to Y. So now I line it up with the Y axis and you want a marker for the Y axis as well. I have this little piece of tape here. Um, so I'll just align it with the edge of the tape, but you can also mark your plastic or do whatever you need to have some consistent reference point that you can go back to. So I will align it and click moving forward until I get to 300 millimeters all right now that I've done five runs for both X and Y, the little screen comes up with either exit or save. If you're happy with your calibration, then you can hit save and that will store these values in EEPROM, which even if after the machine has been flashed with new firmware, these values will still be on the device. If you're not happy and you want to try again, just click exit. You can also look on the serial monitor and you will come out with these calibration results. So these are just another thing you can check just to make sure everything makes sense. So you have CX, CY, these are the scalers for X and Y. Then you have the rotation values. So this is the rotation value you got for your X run, the rotation value you got for your Y run, and then this is the average. So you want to make sure that these um, values are similar for, the rotation values are similar for X and Y. You can see here, this one's negative and this one's positive, but they're both pretty much close to zero, so that is fine with me. All of my rotation values are pretty close to zero, which means I have the sensors pretty well aligned. The X and Y scalar values should be pretty close to 0 0.01. And that's it. So if you're good with these results, just click save. Otherwise, you can exit.